Hi, in this video, prepare to pray, prepare to be blessed by the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman. In this video, you'll be talking about the spirit of fear and how to live without it. For the Bible has told us that the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Get ready to be blessed by this video production and God bless you. As wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times. When you have wisdom, when you have knowledge, it gives you stability. You no longer are afraid of your results. Why? Because the some of you here are chefs, some of you here are wonderful people when it has to do with cooking and the rest if you ask me now as anointed as i am you bring me ingredients and say quickly you are giving 30 minutes or two hours cook something you have to sign that whatever i cook you must eat it so that i don't know i'm i'm sure that i'm not wasting my time are we together i'll have to pray except if the holy ghost just appears and says add this after 10 minutes at this it's not that bad but i think it's not good too i'm not <laughs> are we together yeah why it's not because the food cannot be made there is a lot of guessing you'll be surprised that salt may be the first thing i'll add <laughs> and then add any other thing mix them i'll just mix whatever the menu says and close it and say lord i unto you i commit this meal But there are some of you here even if we say cook for all of us even if it's for twenty thousand people all you need is space and time you will surprise us like you are cooking for one person because you are cooking out of knowledge you are not afraid of what you are doing the number does not matter the formula is the same are you seeing that now yes so you are no longer afraid of your results listen god is helping you to take away fear the moment you are afraid can i deliver can i not deliver that is a report card go back and become a master masters don't fear they, they are saturated by the ordinances that keep them on top they are secured by it when you say god help me he does not say ah you're about to disgrace my name we're talking of the ancient of days he now says claire let me see that challenge God, I've never seen it. He said, it doesn't matter. I'm creator. I can take it out of the way. Mastery. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119, verse 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. We must fade away fear from our life fear of producing results god blesses your business you make great gain and you are afraid because you are sure it will not last the moment you are sure it's not it will not last you are right it won't last i'm called into ministry what is the guarantee that i'll still be blessing people what is the guarantee that if i stand on the crusade ground the sick will be healed what's the guarantee that if i speak God is directing me and saying, I'm blessing people. I'm imparting someone. Ah, let me not announce it. Oh, what if I now say, your name is John and nobody comes out? What if I now say, God is giving speed and everybody's looking at you? No. It is a call for mastery. You go back and learn the ways of the Spirit. How can you walk when you don't know the way of the wind? How can you run when you don't know the way of the Spirit? How can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind? His power at work in you, changing everything in obedience to Christ. Tonight, swallow your pride. Tonight, come to the school of the Spirit. Don't you know, in his hands are the keys to eternal life. It's a little here, a little there, 
and then your day will done he's at work in you changing everything in obedience to christ he's the holy ghost he's the holy ghost he's the spirit of the living god he's the holy ghost the scepter of the king of kings he's the holy ghost the seal of the age to come he's changing everything in obedience to christ rearranging everything in obedience to christ you are building everything please sit down we have to pray peace and confidence leviticals 26 and verse 6 a scripture i found that blessed me years ago please read with me if you're a christian ready want to read and i will give you peace in the land say amen, amen. let's keep reading and ye shall lie down and none shall make you afraid and i will read evil beasts out of the land neither shall the sword go through your land peace why job told us the secret that the lord would deliver you from six things one of it is the scourging tongues of men he said because you have a covenant with the stones do you know what that means that every manipulation of witchcraft depends on the elements of creation to work but i have a covenant with them so when you use them against me they will not work they were authorized to support me and not fight me whether you use water whether you use the stones whether you use the rocks whether you use animals there is a covenant between me and creation that no enchantment and no divination can stand so i find rest i can sleep with my eyes closed please sit down thou shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilence the destruction help them please that wasted in noonday there are all kinds of evils sweeping across our world you get up in the morning you are stretching outside you just receive something you have no business receiving you return back into a life of tragedies someone shout no way and confidence many believers are afraid we pray out of fear we walk out of fear how am i sure that if i lose this job there is a way out how am i sure my destiny will be fine now that i'm 40 or 50 or 60 how am i sure they are not going to diagnose me with maybe kidney or prostrate find rest I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you are God. Truly I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you God is giving us peace and rest. It used to be elderly people who have high blood pressure. Right now you see teenagers moving around, talking as if they are 50 years. Someone who is 19, speaking foolishly. What is wrong? And he's not even aware. May that spirit be far from your life. Far from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Worry. There are people who sleep they have to take pills that are as full as my hand in their their teens their twenties their thirties their forties it's almost killing you find peace mastery of the patterns of god can you can secure his presence you can know he's there 
waiting for a feeling is nonsense you can know he's there I will be still and know you are God. We will be still and know you are God. But Apostle, while I'm being still, how shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man, how shall these things be? How shall my life be lifted? Are you sure God will not disappoint me? Should I truly put all my eggs in one basket? If it is the divine patterns of God, you can die believing him, I assure you. But before you make boast, be sure that you are walking by his patterns. Because if you are not walking by his patterns, shame is imminent. But if by his patterns, then you can be sure that his divine power can give men all things that pertains unto life and godliness. Listen to me. God in this season is going to be challenging many of you to do a lot of things. Ambitious things. Daring things. He's going to give you instructions. You may do what you have never done in your life before. Find rest. Trust the patterns. Even if you do not trust yourself. For some of you, God will speak to you and say, Alright, by next month, start that building. And the only thing you have is 10 bags of cement and a land you are still negotiating and god will say you go and get one trailer of sharp sand pour it there let the devil see it that the hand of zerubbabel let me tell you this god can only become omega if you allow him become alpha if you refuse i initiate that dimension lord you must be alpha then he's guaranteed to be omega and he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my feet and he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my knees and he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my loins and he measured a thousand cubits and it was a river overflowing and the bible says everywhere the river went to the fish that was there came back to life by reason of that overflowing anointing I also sense that tonight there are many of you who there will be a restoration of graces and dimensions. Dimensions in the spirit you once walked in. But for some reason, that visionary experience you used to have just seems to have faded away. That, that intuitiveness, that level of favor, when you came into this city, it was like you were a magnet. But now, it looks like everything is gone. Find hope. The power of God can restore the power of God can restore. The power of God can restore. My goodness, I already sense such a strong anointing here already. The power of God can restore. Another powerful thing about the power of God before we pray is that the power of God can bring acceleration. This is very, this is a, a, a very powerful feature of the power of God. Acceleration. When it has to do with acceleration, the hand of God can come upon a man and can fast track your life. Listen, if two of us start a journey here, we are supposed to run at the same pace. Whoever goes ahead is the one who arrives first. But when the power of God is introduced to the life of a man, he can pick you from that level pick you on a flight here's what the bible says they that wait upon the lord they shall renew so this is the business of strength he's talking about are we together now he says they will mount up with wings he's still talking about strength the moment he begins to talk about wings he's talking about speed he's talking about time they will mount up with wings as the eagles they will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. Elijah ran on barefoot by the power of God. And he overtook the chariots of Ahab even down to Israel. Someone tonight as you are encountering this power. Listen. It, it, it truly will walk like a dream. As you will see God just push you to levels that you cannot even explain. You just know you are moving by the spirit. To dimensions that you cannot explain. Can I tell you this? 
do not forbear with evil tonight do not forbear with anything that does not name the name of christ do not give excuses you are going to pray and you will insist that everything that is not consistent with the counsel of god as revealed from scripture tonight is the night you will wave it a final goodbye can you rise up on your feet as we pray in one minute it's going to be very very fast so that we don't keep us uh, too long here but then I want you to pray from the depth of your heart. Please lift your voice and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Pray. Over your ministry, pray over your life, pray over your destiny, pray over your health. It's a new season by the Spirit of the Living God. Following online here in the auditorium, lift your voice and pray. Man of God, you are praying. It's a new season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, let me say this. By the grace of God, I want to assure you by the Spirit of the living God that God has granted us by the privilege of His grace the wisdom and the word compliancy to dispense the gifts of the Spirit within the boundary of Scripture. You need not fear regardless the extremities of the manifestations by the grace of god we are dealing here with a system that honors god and is consistent with the ways of god so every prophetic word every manifestation of the spirit and every administration of the power of god that will happen here i want you to trust that it will happen within the boundary of scripture find confidence and let your heart be open to receive i say this because i know that many of us may have had all kinds of experiences with the prophetic experiences with the miraculous and chances are that when the power of god is about to dispense be dispensed on this wise there can be that fear we can close our hearts in a bid to escape error in a bid to not get into anything that is extra biblical i want you to know that we love jesus we fear him and he's cultured us and trained us well we came out of the experience the dealing of the spirit it's not just an anointing that came we were taught and we were sent so find confidence that the administration of the power of god as you will be experiencing here will be within the boundary of scripture aimed at revealing jesus and bringing him glory are we together now you pray father let your power touch me let it rest upon my life let it change my life go ahead and pray go ahead and pray Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, please listen to me. Listen to me. Uh, for the sake of space, when, if for any reason, there is a call to bring out those under the anointing, may I request that we just maintain the gaps at the edges so that we don't, the space here is limited so that we can honor the servants of God just here, right now. And then we are going to be very very fast on this i'm going to be praying for the sick but right now i just saw light and without shouting without doing anything just bring all the people under the anointing now as the power of god begins to fall on people right now as i'm speaking 
the power of God and the light of God just from the left to the right I just saw that light right now please bring them the power of God is going to begin to rest on people and this anointing that is coming on people is for restoration this is what I'm seeing in the spirit and there are people here who have been tied down there are people here who the Lord is bringing restoration please bring all of them out right now I stretch my hands and I decree and declare may that grace for restoration rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus right to the back it's, it's, it's something you can't stand we're talking about the power of God here from the left to the right the extreme of this auditorium please whether you are an usher or not just do well to help anyone under the anointing right now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare let there be restoration let there be restoration may that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ please bring them out who is grace I'm hearing a name grace who is grace is there anyone with that name I presume that there may be lots of people grace this person I'm talking about you are wearing I'm seeing like white and yellow you are wearing a trouser is there somebody like that you are wearing white and yellow that's what I'm describing who is that I can't see anybody oh i see the lord is saying it's a new season for this lady i don't know who she is but in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a woman five years five years you are yet to have the fruit of the womb you are yet to give birth five years you are on this road god is telling me you are here is there someone like that here just here we have to hurry up for time please if you find her let her come your life is about to change madam run and come to jesus here at House on the Rock, he's giving you an encounter. At most feet, sheep now, chains be broken. Please let them come. Holy Spirit. Is there anyone with the name Nike? Nike. I'm hearing a name Nike. It's like a short form of a whole name. Nike. Is there someone with such a name? Madam, you are the one. I'm seeing the Lord is saying, number one, I don't know what it is. I hope you're not embarrassed. Can I talk to you? The Lord is shifting something in your body. This is what I'm seeing. Please lay your hand on your stomach. I don't know what it is, but the Lord is telling me that he's bringing you a miracle. This is what I'm... Is this your husband? Sir, can I pray for you, man? In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. I do not know you, but by the power of the Holy Spirit, I declare right now that this thing that does not name the name of Christ, let it leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. How long have you been trusting your all? Huh? Your grace. Please bring for me two people that shout loud right now under the anointing. There is such, I just saw light, that fire. This is a very loud shout. I want to pray. Please, I want you to believe. Even if it is ten minutes, I want you to know that something must rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the living God. I'm seeing this one, two, three, the third row. The third row here, there are some of you, the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this row. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. 
those trusting God for the fruit of the womb? I, I asked them to come out. Are they here? I want you to believe in Jesus. Don't worry. Just take your eyes away from whatever medical report. Believe in Jesus. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. We are going to make this very fast. I just saw that fire come on one of you. And in the name of Jesus, I declare, according to the time of life. Please just place your hand on your stomach if you can. Why is she here? She was under the anointing there. Look at me, madam. You believe in Jesus? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, I declare, this that I see on you, let it loose now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Gone forever, never to return again. In the name of Jesus. And for all of you who are here, I decree and declare, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, according to the time of life, return with miracle children. House on the Rock, agree with them. Return with miracle children. Return with miracle children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please quickly return to your seats. Someone among the people who were ministering here to healer, I just saw the power of God. That's where the choir is. There's one of you. I know that maybe right now, the Lord is saying to that one person that you are stepping into a new season. A new season by the power of the Holy Spirit. A new season. In the name of Jesus Christ. A new season. There are four men of God here. You are in ministry. I just saw a strong anointing resting upon you. Four people. I know that we may pray for other people. But I don't know where the four people are by the Spirit of God, wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, this grace for a new season in ministry. Let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. My friend, there's a gentleman on suit. This man, lift your hands. I just saw light coming on you. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be a new season for you. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ, Never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Who works here with FIRSC? That's Federal Inland. I just saw that name, FIRSC. You are wearing white. No, not this man. You are, it's like you are somewhere there. Is there some? Please come. Your life is about to change. Please verify. Is there someone to... Where do you... God bless you, sir. Where do you work, sir? FIRSC. Yes. How long have you been there? For 10 years now. 10 years. I want to... Because I'm seeing you climb a ladder. It's a new season for you. Can I pray for you? Who works with Indians? I'm seeing a man and I'm seeing Indians. Is there someone like that? You work with it. Oh dear, yes. You work with Indians. Come. I want to pray for you, sir. I'm looking at you, and in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing like a scepter given to you. And the Lord is saying it's a new season. This thing will happen within the next six months. The way God will move you, it will surprise you. You believe what I'm saying? And now I, I don't mean to speak against any tribe, but what I'm hearing, you see, when God places, when God is determined to lift you, whether it's a donkey, whether it's a Cyrus, he will use anyone and anything to lift you. This is what is happening to you. I pray for you by the Spirit of the living God. Joining faith with the servants of God here, I decree and declare, according to the word of the Lord, let it be for you now, in Jesus' name. And for you, my brother, may the Lord help you, in Jesus' name. I want to pray for someone, I don't want you to be embarrassed. I usually would not do this except that God asked me to do it. You are a driver, but I want to pray because you have been seeing yourself starting a business. I want to pray for you, your life is going to change. This is what you do, it's like you drive, that's what I'm saying. But you are about to start a business. 
and the Lord wants me to just pray and speak over your life, if there's someone like that, uh, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man wearing blue, complete blue. This is what I'm seeing. Come. Don't be embarrassed. This is the house of God. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. My friend, please come. Can I tell you, listen, listen. The house of God is a place of power. God does not just bring successful people. He makes successful people out of the house. Are we together now? Let me use this opportunity to decree already over someone. That in the name of Jesus, whatever level you have seen now, by prophecy I push you to the next level. Step into a new season. Step into a new season. Step into a new season. In the name of Jesus. What do you do, sir? You drive your own private vehicle? Your own private vehicle? Yeah. I do Uber. Okay, no. Uber. You two, same thing. And this man? Not my own, sir. But you're driving someone's own. Where are you from? I'm from Adamastus, sir. Mm. I want to pray for you. Look at me. I'm seeing the Lord use agriculture to lift you in a way that will surprise you. This man, I don't know you from anywhere, but God is connecting you. Agriculture is what I see God using to honor and bless you and to lift you. And I stretch my hands, my friend. May the power that makes this happen, let it rest upon you. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, sirs, by the Spirit of the living God. I'm seeing according to that vision you starting a business. May the grace that makes things work, in the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you. All of you, in the name of Jesus, within months, you will return with tearsome testimonies. In the marvelous name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, I want to pray. I believe in speed. There truly is a grace for speed. Destiny is a function of time. And whatever impedes you has taken a portion of your destiny. Is it alright if I minister that grace upon you? Truly there is a grace for speed. Speed of accomplishment. I want to pray for you. Now every time I pray this, here's what I want you to do. Please, I want you to help those who will begin to run by the Spirit so that we don't have any injuries. The power of God will rest on people and literally, they will find themselves running by the Spirit. The hand of God is resting upon them. I don't know, I don't have any personal relationship with this woman who ministered. But madam, I don't know what it is that you have to do with United Kingdom. Because I'm, I, just, I just had a vision and I saw you in UK. And I don't know what this is. Maybe a program you are going or something God is doing for you and your husband. Is it alright if I just speak over you? In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever it is that is in UK that is for you. In the name of Jesus, let it look for you until it enters your hand. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I decree this and I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to pray that grace for speed. My head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed we crash for him. Ah. My head, you are exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I am anointed with fresh oil. I stretch my hands right now. Everyone here who has suffered any kind of delay, there is a strong anointing coming on you right now. At the count of three, one, two, my God, help them. Three, take that grace. Take that grace. Three, all over the building. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost.
Many of you will stand to testify here that at this conference, the Lord shifted you to, to seasons and realms beyond your imagination. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. The Bible says, Wherefore God hath so highly exalted him and given him a name. And it says that name is above every other name. That at the mention of that name, every knee shall bow. I want to rebuke every wind that has been causing the storm to rage for you. There are spirits that are back of the tragedies in the lives of men. There are spirits that are back. Sir, can I pray for you? This man. I don't know who you are, but I just saw light coming on you. And I want to pray for you because the Lord is taking you to a level beyond your imagination. I stretch my hands towards you, sir, and I declare. Let this anointing rest upon you. Let it be a new season for you. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, and that everything that does not name the name of Christ in your life, let it give way right now. I want to pray for you. Listen to me. Paul was speaking to the church in Thessalonica, and he said, I desire to come to you again, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Satan can use manifestations of spirits systems and structures to block people from making progress i want to declare against any spirit that is not of the christ and the moment i pray please anyone who is manifesting here you just help them so they don't injure themselves are we together now my god Hallelujah. 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 spirit that is not of the Christ tormenting lives and destinies tying down the glory of people I want to pray for you and at the count of three I want you to shout that name that is above every other name exalted above every name every throne every dominion and hear me at that shout if God be God then everything that has held you down, even if it is Jericho, are you ready now? At the count of three, one, two, three, shout Jesus. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives, according to scripture, shall be delivered. I'm still praying. Some of you are standing here for your families, not just for yourself. If there is any one of your family members under any kind of yoke of captivity, because you are here at this conference, I bring life to them now. Victory to them now. Freedom to them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
there's a gentleman here you work in access bank i just saw that logo access bank i want to pray for the seat now but the lord just gave me this word gentlemen you work in access bank in fact it's like you came from the bank to this place you are wearing a you are wearing it uh, okay come but i'm seeing in my vision it's like blue it's a light blue but you come but this well, okay. you work in access bank please come both of you all of you i'm seeing four people this is what i'm seeing one two three but i'm seeing a fourth person again access bank sir god bless you can i pray for you sirs listen let me tell you this every gift and every grace that god gives a man is not for that man is for the body of christ i can assure you that the days of superstar christianity is over we are here as vessels revealing jesus joining our hands as the body of christ to exalt jesus and show the world that he's alive this is what this is all about this is not about joshua selman this is not about some man of god thank god for the gift but i can tell you we are only ushers we direct men to jesus to help them know that he's alive are we together if you ever find yourself being mightily and marvelously used by god let me encourage you do not be ashamed to let the nations know that your assignment is to project jesus it is only when he is lifted up that he draws men to himself are we blessed i want to pray for you sir how long have you been in access bank will you believe what i'll tell you yes that your time there is almost coming to an end yes sir. but you've seen it yes it's not something i'm just saying yes you've seen it yes and that the lord is going to lift you yes you are in abuja here yes what is taking you to lagos because i'm seeing you go to lagos hallelujah in the name of jesus christ my brothers i agree with you standing on the grace of your pastor i decree and declare a strong anointing is coming on you my brother this man i prophesy to and in the name of jesus god is going to connect you to a very wealthy man and that man will be used by god to change your life may that grace rest on you so let it be in the name of jesus christ i pray for you sirs by the power that raised christ from the dead may the lord show you favor may the lord show you mercy in the name of jesus you will go and prosper you will go and experience increase in the name of jesus i'm hearing the cry of a baby and is a baby boy and the lord is telling me there is a family you've had a child but you are trusting god for a boy i don't know who that person is and you are in you are in front where are you coming from madam is that true i i, I hope you're not embarrassed can i pray for you you believe in miracles yes sir. madam you're a member of this church no sir now where, no matter where you are let do me a favor when the boy comes come and stand here and testify <laughs> sorry so sorry i hope it's not you. my dear you're trusting god for this miracle shout jesus as loud as you can jesus! that is it in the name of jesus christ Madam, I pray for you. Where is your husband? I want to pray for you. There is a marvelous financial miracle. This be even beyond this prayer that I'm praying that is coming for you and your husband. But I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. A strong anointing is coming upon you now. And in the name of Jesus, this grace, this grace is what will make this prophetic word come to pass. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. And for my sister here, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I decree and declare, according to the word of the Lord and for the glory of the King, let this be for you. In Jesus' name. Did I pray for you, sir? I can't even remember why he's out. FIRS, I want to pray for you. Please stand up, sir. How long have you worked there? 
Huh? Ten years. Ago. Ten years. I'm seeing you have something to do with politics or a politician. What? Huh? What? Do you, what else do you do? That's all you do. I want you. Do not fight it. When that drive for politics comes, it's in your destiny. God has shown you this thing already. Even before you started working, I release that grace upon you now. May the grace that makes this happen. Listen, let me tell you this. The church, God has given the church and he has given vessels in the church certain graces called a kingmaker anointing. A kingmaker never sits on that throne himself, but he can enthrone and dethrone. The church is actively part of government. Are we together? Yes. Just close to the people sitting at the front here, I'm seeing the power of God come on one person. Um, just this, like this, right there, this row. I don't know why, but it's just a miracle. I'm going to pray for the sick right now, but I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus Christ. May that strong anointing rest upon you supernaturally. Let it shift you to a new season. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I just take out five minutes to pray for the sick? My sincere apologies. I know that there are people who have come here. Trusting God for healing. Do you believe in healing miracles? Please lay your hands. Here's what I want you to do for me. I've been given a bit of time. But I will not abuse that, that privilege. So we'll still walk within the boundary of the time given. But here's what I want you to do. I'm going to pray a simple prayer in the name of Jesus. Remember my illustration about light and darkness? Because that light is about to come up right now. Are we together? And I'm going to pray for you in mass. The power of God is coming on one person with hepatitis. Now, the power of God, I'm going to pray for everyone, but that one person, you will be healed right now right at the back that's what i'm saying is there someone like that right at the back you are healed now of hepatitis right there in the name of jesus now i'm going to pray for you and as soon as i pray for you i want you to please check yourself we're not pretending this is no show this is the power of god i want you to check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened let's have even if, even if it's just one or two testimonies of the marvelous hand of god and then i just speak over your life and we're done is that fine please lay your hands very quickly i want to pray for you i believe in miracles i truly believe in miracles lord conditions Negative medical reports. You are here working miracles. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. power of Jesus is moving across this place now now two things will happen and the healing power of Jesus will begin to touch people two people are going to start running out by the anointing please hold them wherever they are honestly I don't know why God does these things sometimes but they are just signs and wonders when that happens the healing power of Jesus will begin to move two people literally the power of God will come upon them that's one there. Now I can pray. How God does these things and why he does it, sometimes there are signs and wonders. There is one more person right now. The power of God, literally. The person will start running. Please just hold the person so he doesn't enjoy himself. And then I begin to... <laughs> it's very funny how these things work sometimes. Now I'm ready to pray. Hallelujah. Please lay your hands... In the name of Jesus Christ, please shout a believing Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
I rebuke every spirit that is back of every infirmity, every disease. I command by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be gone now in the name of Jesus. And every sickness, every infirmity, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, be healed now. Blood conditions be healed now. My God, my God, my God, such a wave of glory. The anointing is just sweeping across the length and the breadth of this place. Healing is coming. I'm seeing the Lord heal lumps, lumps, like lumps, breast lumps. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Help them please. Be healed, my God. Be healed right now. There's someone having severe pain around the lower back area, severe pain. In fact, I'm literally feeling that pain in my own back. I decree and declare right now, be healed in Jesus' name. Madam, the woman laying her hands on her head. I just saw oil. Keep that hand on your head. I saw oil coming on you and the Lord is saying, this infirmity goes now. I stretch my hands. Be healed now. Be healed now. The power of God is touching you right where you are. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. Headache, migraine headache goes now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Anyone having any malignant growth or any kind of growth whatsoever, we command that growth to dissolve from your body now. Cancer, be healed in the name of Jesus. There's someone God is healing you, you don't have to come out. But what we know as impotency, the Lord is healing someone of that condition right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone you have breathing problems. You really cannot breathe like, breathe normally. The power of God is touching you. A miracle is happening to you right now. Right now, right now. A miracle is happening. Please help her, help her, help her. Just hold her. She's coming out by the anointing so she doesn't fall. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Peptic ulcer. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Now, the Lord is showing me, I'm seeing someone there is, it looks like a boil, but it comes out in a particular part of your body. You keep treating it and treating it and it keeps coming again. The power of God is touching you right where you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone, you came here with severe pain. I'm seeing pain around your shoulder here. You are at the back. The power of God has touched you. In the name of Jesus. Every other situation be healed right now. Be healed right now. In fact, there's someone you are having. Um, I don't know what this is called. It's, it's not, yes, your throat like tonsillitis. Severe pain. You almost cannot swallow. As soon as I'm done praying, you check yourself. That devil leaves your throat right now. Someone, your left eye, your left eye, seems you don't see very clearly with your left eye. The power of God is coming upon you now. And I declare that that blood vision is, is perfected now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Every blind eye be open, whether partial or total blindness, be healed now. Hear me? If there is anyone here who cannot walk well, whether you are on a crutch or you are on a wheelchair, stand up now. In the name of Jesus, any pain around your limbs, in the name of Jesus, in your crutches, I release the power of God to be healed right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and seeing someone who has struggled with pile. Please hold on. This is a very severe case of pile. Very severe case of pile. The power of God is coming on you. You will know you are healed because the pain leaves you now. The pain leaves you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, 
I don't know what medical condition is it that prohibits eating starch. But I'm seeing someone, your a doctor was warning you to not eat starch because of a medical condition you have. The power of God, I don't know who that person is, but the power of God is touching you right now. Now for sake of time, whether or not I mention your case, from the crown of your head, even to the soles of your feet, be healed now! Be healed now! My sister, that lady waving her hands, I'm seeing the power of God come on your stomach. There is something that is going out right now. I decree and declare, I stretch my hands towards you. Let that devil leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, very quickly, some of you, even whilst you were under the anointing, something happened to you. I want you to check yourself. We have just two minutes. I don't want to abuse the time. We need to shame the devil here at House on the Rock, the refuge. Are we together? Wherever you are, check yourself. The moment you find out that you could do something you couldn't do, please be very bold. I'd like you to use either this place or that place. Celebrate them. People are coming out. If I can have just one or two of the pastors or just... Just someone, so we take one or two testimonies. Check your vision, check everything. Is this how you celebrate miracles, my God? Is this how you celebrate miracles? Keep coming, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Go deeper. Those of you watching and following online, miracles are also happening in your homes, your offices, whatever you are. I want you, you can call in, you can send through whatever platform, the emails that may be displayed. Let the house on the rock here, the refuge, know that Jesus is touching you right where you are. In the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Just a few. Hold on. Oh, ju ju just a moment. Okay. Hello, Apostle. Yes, when you talk about the fire, one of the reasons, one of the, the, the reasons why I'm in this service, I'm not a member of the church, but one of the reasons was because of this fire matter. I even came with the drugs. I've been taking Where it. is the drug? Oh, I see. I'm taking it. It's inside, it's inside my back. What happened to you now? It's gone. Maybe you said the pain. There is something. We have another miracle here. Yes, please. Very quickly, my God. Just, just, we're not going to stay here for too long. Go ahead. Just be patient. Yes, go ahead. Coming to church, I had a sore throat. I don't know, I was not breathing well, but now my throat. Oh, the lady that was running out. Yeah. Check it now. Yeah. Anything. It's gone. Yeah. Completely gone. It never returns to you right now. Yeah. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, praise the Lord. Um, I'm a medical doctor and my job entails that I stand a lot in theaters, doing ward rounds. So I've been feeling this pain on my right toe and the feet. I keep telling myself that I'm going to see an orthopedic surgeon, but I never had the time to see one. Today the pain becomes, became so intense during the ward round that I had, to take, I had to sit down and stop work. But of course, I had to stand up and continue work. So, yes. During the prayer, I was standing and there was a lot of pain, but I kept standing. So what happens? And I just want to bless the name of the Lord. And right Check yourself. now, the pain is no longer Check. there. Any pain? Bless the name Completely of the Lord. gone. Check yourself. Gone. It never returns to you again in Jesus' name. Is that, yes, please. Hold on. Yes, um, blood vision. Blood so vision. A uh, blood vision, like I can't How long? see this. What's your name, my dear? Happiness. Happiness. Yes, sir. How long? Um, going to eight nine years now. What couldn't you read when you came? Um, the screen. Oh, I can't really see your face clearly. I was using glasses. You were using glasses. Yes. Where are the glasses? I can't find it when I fell down. I don't know whether somebody. And right now you can see. Yes. Oh, come on. Yes. <laughs> I want to thank God because I was having blood vision. You were having blood vision? Yes, and immediately the man of God prayed the blood vision seed. Secondly, I want to thank God because he manifested the power in my life in a different dimension today. I bless the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. I've been having shoulder pain for several months now. And when the man of God prayed, the shoulder pain just left. Check yourself. Any pain, completely gone. 
in the name of Jesus, it never returns to you by the power of Praise the Holy the Lord. Spirit. Praise the Lord. My name is Philip. I actually came here with a severe ne- new problem, pain. I was supposed to see, go to see Dr. Chris tomorrow. That's my appointment tomorrow. But while the prayer was going on, something hit me seriously. Oh my God. Check yourself. And I'm pretty healed, sir. Supernatural healing in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I work in a hospital too, so I do a lot of standing. Are you seeing what God is doing to the medical people? So I, I've been having this pain from my neck, shoulder, and to this part of my body, but right now I can't feel it. Before now, I can't even bend down. And I've been doing physiotherapy for like three weeks now, but I don't feel any pain Completely anymore. Completely bend down. Check yourself. Any pain. Any pain. Completely gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, Sir. Yes. yes. Praise the Lord. Um, I was having this shoulder pain and ankle, so we are about to travel soon to check for trials like football. So You are a footballer? Yes, sir. So last week, Friday, I went to training, then I got ankle, then my shoulder, but now, after the prayers, I'm feeling normal. Check yourself. May the Lord prosper you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have another Maybe one or two more and then we're done. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. While I was there, I felt a very sharp pain in my tummy. And the moment I fell under the anointing, that was all. That was the end. What happened to you? The pain what? ceased. The pain ceased. Oh, you had a pain before yes. now? No, it was while I was there. there it was, was while you were there? Yes. It just the left. moment I fell under the anointing, it disappeared. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are healed now, you are healed forever. Let's have the last one. I know there are many more. What will happen is you can, you can testify uh, uh, during the other sessions. Yes. I've had ringing in my ears for over three years now, and then I can't hear anything anymore. And then the ringing has stopped. There's no ringing in my ear anymore. You believe what has... Yes. I had pain in my knee coming to church this evening and I can't feel the pain Completely anymore. Completely gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Well, let's just honor that sister. And, Praise and, the Lord. Yes. When you mentioned waist pain, that you can even feel the pain. I was there. I have had this pain since last week. If I sit down to stand up, will be an issue. I will fall back to the chair. But when you mentioned the issue, I have been checking myself because the pain is no longer there. Completely. Please stand on your feet. I'm no longer slave. I speak over your life, you are in this place and haven't heard about Jesus and what he can do, haven't seen what he has done, you are here and you are saying, Apostle, I know that I need Jesus, I need to make it right with Jesus. Or you are here and you are saying, Apostle, I remember giving everything to Jesus but for some reason my life has gone haywire and I need restoration. I'm going to count one to five for sake of time. You have just a minute. I'd like you to leave your seat. Please, um, before we receive the final prophetic word, wherever you are, please leave your seat boldly. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. I'd like you to come and stand here very quickly. I'll count one to five. Please run like there's fire on the mountain. Come and stand before Jesus here. One. Run to Jesus. Two. Two. Don't allow anybody to leave you behind. Run. Come to Jesus. He's giving you a new beginning. You don't have to kneel. Please stand for space. Please stand for space. Three. Someone is coming to Jesus here at this conference. He's giving you a new beginning. A new beginning. If you're still running, come. Come. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Praise the, praise the name of the Lord. 
I salute every one of you. Thank you for the courage to come. Jesus said, whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. May I request that you lift your right hand very high above your head. Please say this after me. Say it with faith, believing that Jesus is here. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word that you are all powerful. I believe in your power to save. I believe in your power to give me a new beginning. I confess Jesus as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that I receive eternal life into my spirit. I receive the abundance of grace, even the gift of righteousness. And I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. Please keep those hands. Father, we thank you for these ones. You have brought them to yourself. May the grace that keeps, may that grace keep them. I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be grounded and established in righteousness. In the name of Jesus. Now you would notice that you were given a card. Please look up. You were given a card by the officials. Here's what I want you to do. Um, as they direct you, you'll be told what to do. Okay, I thought you would feel it here. So please, all of you to my left, which is your right, I'd like you to go. Let's celebrate them as they go. You'll meet with a few counselors and you will be back to your seat. Hallelujah. Can I speak finally over your life? Please stand. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. Let me encourage you to be actively involved in the remaining sessions. There's tomorrow morning, there's tomorrow evening, there's um, Saturday morning, and then the celebration service. Do well to stretch through. Remember, this is a week for you of spiritual emphasis. And do well to enjoy the worship, the word, connect with your heart opened, and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. I decree and declare over your life, in the name that is above all names, the level of grace and anointing that you require for the next season, may that grace rest on you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, every closed door over your life and your destiny, I speak over that door and I decree and declare, let it be open now. I decree and declare that in this season you encounter the ministry of destiny helpers. Men and women raised by God to hold your hand and lift you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare that for everything that has left you that should not have left you, wherever it is, I call it by prophecy back to your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I speak over everyone under the sound of my voice. You will finish this year well. Hear me? Everyone here present in this place, by this time next year, you will still be alive rejoicing here. The only difference is that you will be at least ten times better than you are now. In the name of Jesus Christ. We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.